Hello learners, how are you? I hope that all of you very fine. Now, in this video, I am going to talk about representation of irrational numbers on the number line. In this topic, we will try to understand the representation of a square root on the number line. Before going on the topic, let's know who was Pythagoras. Pythagoras. The Pythagorean in Greece, followers of the famous mathematician and philosopher Pythagoras, were the first to discover the number which were not rationals around 400 BC. These numbers are called irrational numbers because they cannot be written in the form of ratio of integers. There are many myths surrounding the discover of irrational numbers by the Pythagorean. Hippocus of Croton in all the myths Hippocus has an unfortunate end either for discovering that root 2 is irrational or for disclosing the secret about root 2 to people outside the sacred Pythagorean sect. Uh, this is a picture of Pythagoras, 569 BCE to 479 BCE. Now, let us understand a simple concept of Pythagoras theorem. If ABC is the right angle triangle with side AB, BC, and AC as the perpendicular base and hypotenuse of the triangle, respectively. With AB equal to X units, we will take AB equal to x units and bc equal to y units. Then the hypotenuse of triangle according to Pythagoras that is ac here equal to square root of x square plus y square. Here the figure we have this one a, B, C. Here, angle B, right angle. To have better understanding of the concept, let's take an example of representation of a square root of 2 on the number line. For the representation of a square root 2 of 2, the following steps must be followed. So, uh, draw a number line and mark the center point as 0 here, this one. Second step, mark right side of the 0 as 1, which is here, that 1, and the left side as minus 1, which is here. Step 3, we want to consider minus 1 for our purpose. Step 4, With same length as between 0 and 1, draw a line perpendicular to point 1 as a unit. 
such that new line has a length of one unit. Right now, join the point O and the end of new line of unity length. Here you see this one join. Okay. Now let us name the triangle as ABC. Here A, B, C. As ABC such that AB is the height that is perpendicular, just above we have discussed. This is the base of triangle and AC is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle ABC. In the here is the figure. Now the length of hypotenuse that is AC can be found by applying Pythagoras theorem to the triangle ABC that is AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. This one AC square because we have taken AB as a one unit and BC as a one unit. So here AC square equal to one square plus one square. That means AC square equal to two. Then AC equal to root two. If we do squaring both sides. We get root 2. Now the next step that is 9 is representing root 2 above the steps from this one. Now, now step in 9 with AC as radius and C as the center, cut an arc on the same number line and name the point as. D. You see below figure here is D, right? This D. Since AC is the radius of the arc and hence CD will also be the radius of the arc whose length is root 2. Hence, D is the representation of root 2 on the number line. Thank you, all of you learners. Again, we will meet in next video.